Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about quesadillas. I'm going to make my favorite quesadilla and see what you think about it. Now traditional Mexican quesadilla is basically a big flour tortilla with a bunch of cheeses folded in half. That's okay for if you like a boring quesadilla. I like mine a little bit different, so I'm going to show you how we're going to put it together. Now, I always use uncooked tortillas. I don't know if you've ever used these or not. If you haven't, you need to try them. They are, once you try them, you'll never go back to the regular old fluffy tortillas. I'm going to start with pimento cheese spread. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. I love this stuff on sandwiches and things like that, but I'm going to, I'm going to make that the base of my quesadilla. Pimento cheese spread. I love the taste of this stuff. <coughs> Just going to spread that out on the bottom. Like I say, you can put pretty much anything you want in a quesadilla. It's a matter of preference. I actually like mushrooms in mine, but I don't happen to have any mushrooms today, so we're going to go Sam's Mushrooms. Now on top of that, I'm going to put a half of a fresh sliced avocado. avocado slices. As you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I like avocado and pretty much everything. Yeah, folks, if you've never tried these uncooked tortillas, you, you've got to give them a shot. The flavor is just so much better. And obviously fresher. Spread these out a little bit. This one isn't all the way ripe, so it's not easily spread. So I'm just gonna kind of put them on there like that. Next off, I'm gonna go with some diced green chilies. These are not hot at all. These are totally mild green chilies. I don't know if you've had green chilies before, but these things are absolutely delicious. Alright. And for my cheese, I prefer Swiss cheese. I know, it sounds kind of weird, but for a Mexican quesadilla. But just the way I like it. I'm going to put one slice in the center and then I'm going to put some smaller slices on the outside. But I'll tell you, once you try this too, it, it's delicious. It truly is. And that is the makeup of my quesadilla. Now we're going to take another uncooked tortilla, put on top of it. Get a pan fired up here. You can get your pan warmed up a little bit. I said last week that I was going to do deep fried zucchini this week, and I've got plenty of zucchini out of my garden, but I want to do a few other things also, and I want to make sure it's all out of my garden. I don't want to buy anything, so it's going to be another week or two before the other things are ready to go. Okay, now we're just going to take this whole thing, place it in here. Just going to let this baby heat up. Heat it evenly on one side. We're going to flip it over, and depending on the doneness of the first side, we may flip it a second time. We'll see.
And the difference between the uncooked and the, and the uh, regular cooked tortillas is, is amazing. I mean, the other ones, I used the other ones for years. I never knew about the uncooked ones. And I'm telling you, once, once I tried these uncooked ones, never looked back. They're just so much more flavor. Need some more recipe ideas, folks. Let's say I'm going to do the I'm going to do the deep fry either the next next week or the week after that. But still need need your recipe ideas. Any anything I'm I'm willing to give anything a shot. <clears throat> Just tell me what you'd like to see and let me put my spin on it and see how it comes out. Let's take a look at this and see here. Almost. Traditional quesadillas are going to have cheddar cheese. Like I said, I, I happen to be a Swiss cheese. That's one of my favorite cheeses, so I use that in anything I use cheese with. I like Swiss cheese on my burgers. Although the Juicy Lucy burgers last week called for American, so I went with that. It seemed to work out pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, nice brown on that side. We'll let that side brown up a little bit. Tell me what you like about my videos or what you don't like. What you'd like to see changed, what you actually like about them. Let me know, let me know what you want so I can make these videos something you actually want to watch. It could be me just shutting up, I don't know. If that's the case, that's not a problem. Or it could be me talking more. I can't imagine that, but hey, you never know. Just tell me what you want to see. What you like and what you don't like. Right now, since this pan's already hot, it won't take this second side nearly as long. You just want a nice little, nice brown finish to get your cheese melted. Ah. One more time, oh yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Matter of fact, we got us a quesadilla. Cutting on this dude. Whew, that's warm. There's a hot quesadilla. I want to. <laughs> I want to try a bite of this after I get it cut. But it's going to be awful hot. I may have to leave this thing set for a minute or two. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. This is my, what I call my ultimate quesadilla. Tell me what you think. I'm going to attempt to take a bite of this and this dude's going to be really hot. Mm. Ooh, the avocado. Swiss cheese, everything just melts together perfect. That, that's my quesadilla. That's the one I love, folks. Hope you enjoy it. Like I said, send me in some new recipe ideas. Let me, let me get to work on this stuff. I can tell my friends and neighbors, laissez les bon temps brûler. Let the good times roll. So until next time, who's getting ready to eat a quesadilla? This guy. That's what I'm talking about.